John Coates, The Hour Between Dog and Wolf, How Risk-Taking Transforms Us, Body and Mind. Embark on a fascinating journey with The Hour Between Dog and Wolf, How Risk-Taking Transforms Us, Body and Mind, by John Coates. This eye-opening book reveals the intricate connections between our brains and our bodies, with a focus on the influence hormones have on our thoughts and actions. Gain insights into how powerful hormones like testosterone affect behavior and risk-taking, and how our brain anticipates movements due to the limitations of our physiology. You'll also explore the role of intuition in decision-making, the importance of physical fitness for stock traders, and the impact of stress on market crashes and recovery. The book urges the reader to reconsider the conventional wisdom about the brain and the body's interconnectedness, giving them a whole new perspective on risk-taking and decision-making. The Whole Body Thinking Our thoughts and actions are not just influenced by the brain, but also by different regions of the body. The hormones released by the gut affect hunger, stress affects digestion, and even gut sensitivity can influence emotional arousal. It's time to think of the brain and the body as one connected system. Testosterone and Risk-Taking Testosterone, often considered one of the most potent hormones, profoundly influences our behavior. It accelerates metabolism, cell growth, and strength, among other things. However, high testosterone levels can also increase risk-taking tendencies, especially in competitive scenarios. In a study discussing traders' testosterone levels, researchers found that higher testosterone levels didn't improve skill levels but increased the risks they took compared to individuals with lower levels. This behavior, often successful, triggers the winner effect, causing more testosterone to be released. This feedback loop can lead to harmful and reckless behavior, known as, the hour between dog and wolf, transformation. Similarly, animals' high testosterone levels can make them victorious in battles but prone to severe risks resulting in premature death. The Anticipatory Nature of the Human Brain from catching a ball to making decisions, the human brain is wired to anticipate events. Due to the delay in how we perceive the external world, our brains are forced to anticipate the position of moving objects. This was shown in an experiment where participants saw a blue and yellow circle move around a screen. They saw a blue circle with a yellow one lagging behind because the brain anticipated the location of the blue circle. Furthermore, the brain prepares for an action before consciousness makes a decision. As a result, consciousness seems to be a mere byproduct of our actions. The Science Behind Trading Intuition Have you ever wondered why some traders seem to have a natural instinct for predicting the fluctuations of the stock market? It turns out that what we call intuition is actually pattern recognition, a skill that can be learned. Although the efficient market hypothesis argues that markets are unpredictable, experienced traders consistently outperform the market. This is because they subconsciously pick up on cues from the environment, which trigger physical responses that influence their intuition. Research shows that the most successful traders are those who have steadily increased their sharp ratio over time. So, if you're interested in becoming a successful trader, don't discount the importance of developing your pattern recognition skills. The fitness advantage in the trading floor. The trading floor is not just for the brainy, but also for the physically fit. Trading demands great concentration, stamina, and quickness in making trades, qualities that former athletes possess. Traders engage in visual motor scanning, scanning screens for tiny price differences for hours, which requires great focus. Physical fitness is vital as it enables traders to correctly interpret their body's signals, leading to more reliable hunches. Traders must be fast because if they hesitate, another trader can get in before them and affect the stock prices. Researchers discovered that fit and well-trained people identify heartbeats adeptly and accurately than overweight individuals, indicating that the ability should be a requirement for trader recruitment. In conclusion, Traders are not just mentally sharp individuals but also physically fit individuals taking advantage of the fitness edge to make a successful living. The Addictive Power of Trading Trading in a bull market can be addictive, 
much like gambling, due to the potential rise in dopamine levels. Studies show that risky trades can lead to addiction and greater risk-taking. The combination of dopamine and testosterone during bull markets increases the chances of greater risks being taken by traders. This winner effect can lead to a vicious cycle in a market bubble formation. The psychological effects of stock market crashes on traders. Stock market crashes have a significant impact on traders' bodies, causing stress responses that hinder them from regaining control of the market. During a crash, cortisol is released, which negatively affects memory, inhibits rational thought, and makes them risk averse. Additionally, the stress response can cause traders to behave in irrational and mean ways towards each other, increasing anxiety and worsening the effects of stress. This physiology has real-world implications, leading to increased market volatility and even more stress for traders. Fortifying the mind and body against stress. Our responses to stress often shape our decisions in a negative way. But, by understanding the science of resilience, we can minimize the impact of stress on our choices and increase our ability to thrive. Moderate stressors such as physical exercise and controlled challenges can fortify our bodies, aging us better and making us more resilient in the face of stress. Furthermore, the ability to switch between tasks freely can reduce mental fatigue and improve our focus. Understanding and implementing practices such as these can improve our decision-making abilities and increase our overall productivity in life. Trading floors need diversity. The trading floor is dominated by young men, whose behavior is volatile due to high testosterone levels. To create stability in the market, older men and more women should be hired. Older men are less susceptible to the effects of testosterone, while women naturally have lower levels. Women also respond to stress differently, showing a tend and befriend response, which can promote better decision-making on the trading floor. Increasing diversity would promote a more stable, successful market. Beware of novelties. When we face stress, it's best to surround ourselves with familiarity rather than novelty. Novelties can add more to our stress rather than reducing it, even if the novelties in question are good things like an exotic vacation. The increased physiological load that comes with change can make us ill. In situations where novelties are inevitable, attaining some sense of control can decrease the stress load. Even patients in pain tend to suffer less when they are somehow allowed to have some control over their medication. In The Hour Between Dog and Wolf, John Coates presents an enlightening view of how our brains and bodies are deeply intertwined, and the vital influence hormones play in our behavior, decision-making, and risk-taking. The book demonstrates the importance of physical fitness, intuition, and an awareness of our body's reactions in various high-risk environments, such as stock trading. By understanding the impact of stress on brain function and the potential consequences of hormone-driven behavior, we can be better prepared to mitigate the effects of stress and make more well-informed decisions. The conclusion is clear, maintaining a balanced and healthy lifestyle is essential not just for the body, but for the mind as well. So, the next time you encounter a high-stakes situation, keep in mind the complex relationship between your mind and body, and apply the lessons from this insightful book.